so yeah here we are in the lake district um it's just a little bit after 11 o'clock which is not normally the time i start walking but it's three and a half hour drive from home so not done not done too bad save being up ridiculously early so um yeah got this walk planned today eight miles from mardale head we just sat in the car for 10 minutes <laughs> thinking about whether we should actually do it because um as you can see the weather's not the best but i've got my little bon here with me so she's gonna have a great time she's been in the car all that time so it'd be nice for her to have a wander about and yeah just see where we get to and wait up as we go so that's where we're parked somewhere over there there's the bottom of the hall's water and then we're heading off up into there and around so yeah let's get cracking Are you okay, Ron? Good girl. Come in. Coming back for me. down there at Mardale Head um, all the way up here you want to go don't you there's horse water absolutely massive lake and then we've got blue water just here off to the left and then we're heading up this path up there along the ridge line I think up onto there which I think is Kitsy Pike and then down back around so got my trusty little map with me so should find the route looks quite clear now it's really mixed don't know what to wear it doesn't know what to do with itself it's hailing and then it's really sunny and but it's actually better in the hail even though it stings your face because it's um dry at least i'm not getting soaked so you want to go don't you Hey, you're being a good girl. Come on then, let's go. Go then.
so just coming down now from the top um, it was seriously windy up there I didn't feel much at all because how windy it was um, and yeah I didn't want to stop long for Bonnie it was really painful on your face just I actually put my buff on Bonnie's ears just because it was like firing into her ears I thought it was gonna be really sore for her so um, it's just sort of slightly snowing now so not much wind down here so that's good it's quite nerve-wracking actually walking on your own I normally hike with others or with friends or with Mike my partner but um, he is not here today unfortunately so um, it has just been me and Bonnie but yeah I just think god if anything happens I've really barely seen anyone as well um, I saw a couple of people up on high street because it's like a big crossover of paths so you tend to see people up there from sort of north south east and west crossovers every which way um but up the whole of the ascent i saw no one um and then so far coming down i've not seen anyone either so i've just taken it carefully because i just felt a bit a little bit worried just going up there at points with bon and um, with me just when the weather was closing in and you can't really see that much it's yeah it's a bit nerve-wracking but it's mega been really good so it's nice to see over there now where we're heading which I like keep us in the right direction e come on in let's go so that's me guys pretty much back at the car now so um I will sign off here but been a great walk so parked at Markdale Head up Rough Crag and Riggendale Crag up to the top of High Street um, turn right on High Street and you can go all the way to High Rays I skipped High Rays out because I think I've done it before and the weather up there was just so windy um, and snowy and hail <laughs> um, I would have had to have gone out and back anyway so I just skipped that out and then turned right off High Street again um, to Kitty Pike, Kids Die Pike, however you say it um, and down so there's Kitty Crag as well and then down back to Mardale so nice loop I think it's going to be about seven miles or so so um, not the longest one for today but quite good for driving from home for three and a half hours and on a Friday taking the day off work um, and uh, yeah I can get into my little Airbnb soon so I was gonna camp actually I have a two-man tent and me and Bon were gonna camp but it's quite snowy and we're going to meeting a friend we're gonna try an ultra run tomorrow 16 miles so I just fancied a nice shower and somewhere warm to stay so We'll go and check that out, see what that's like, and yeah. Hope you've enjoyed the walk. You ready, Bomb? Come on then, let's go. <laughs>